Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. Let's have a look at what happens here. So five minute auto pairing. <clears throat> and so we're gonna get a game. Okay, yard bird, okay. Uh, try Nimzo. I think Nimzo setup might be a good prudent thing or Queen's Engine. See what he does against this. Okay, I'll just play for E5. So I'm ready to answer E4 with E5. If bishop g5, knight d5, is that the case? All right, can I do this b4, take maybe knight b3 after? Uh huh. Um, maybe then slowly play g6, knight h5, that sort of thing. Bishop f8. Is he going to play b4? What's wrong with knight g4 there? Why didn't I play knight g4? Probably a bit reckless of me. Not to consider knight g4. Well, I was thinking about knight h5 though. To keep a good tempo there. Because, you know, not, not to get too far behind. Um. Bishop g5. Oh, hang on. He's got knight b3 coming up. If I put his queen on a1, should I do that? And then knight f4, bishop f6. Um, think about this. Whoa, light square invasion. Dark square invasion. So bishop f6 coming up on knight d3. Bishop f6. I don't have to waste time with this. Okay. I've got bishop f6 here, interestingly. I'll try it here. I think. Is that loose knight on c3? I'm hoping. Oh, so I'll just blunder the piece. Uh, I can play the check and. Actually, I can play g5 again because it's a trap bishop now. It's a trap bishop. Maybe that's interesting. Maybe taking here to open up the e5 square. Okay. Um, it's not a trap bishop anymore. But maybe h5, h4, try and soften his um, dark squares. He's going to soften my light squares and play c5. I think I have to try and play on this side of the board. Try and soften these dark squares. King g7 and stuff. Rook h8. Oh, hang on. That looks pretty bad. What have I done there? Check. <clears throat> Here, or maybe we're always better for the king. Think, think, think. It is King G8. Well, at least, all right, all right. Um, knight F8, Bishop C8. Take this guy off. No, I don't think it's worth it. I think I've got to get that A4. Oh, his dark squares might be a bit more vulnerable on G3 though. If I, I'm hoping. Um, rather optimistically. Knight takes c5, it was an idea. I'm going to take this first, open up that h file. Is there anything concrete actually? Rook h3 after taking the queen, not queen h8, no. 
I can try and keep this structure intact. Bishop a6, stop the king, not really. Um, my structure is going to get wrecked. There's knight e7 trying to challenge things. Or should I take off his. Right, I think. Um, Mm, he looks he looks better here, doesn't he? Really. Just knight e seven trying to challenge his f five knight. Okay, I think oh, so I'm fearing his dark's going to be weakened, it's giving up that. Can I get time to challenge his um Yeah, knight b five looks as though it's gonna be bad, queen c five. But knight e seven just at least I can challenge his f five knight if I can get rid of that guy. This guy's up on the diagonal. Yeah, let's just try and get rid of this f5 knight. <laughs> oh dear. If I just take in and bishop f5. Bishop c8, I mean. I can't open up this diagonal. Fuck, you saying gap here, Nanny? Um. I don't like these knights on f5. <laughs> but these dark squares are lurking around. You know, surely they're a bit weak. This h file must be a tiny bit of a concern. <sighs> the bird is the word. It's yard bird. Have you heard? The bird is the word. So bishop takes f5. Oh, g4 here for bishop g5. That's trying to play dynamically. On the dark squares. Open up the dark squares a bit. G five. Right, so if I take that off, Bishop G five. I'm on the rook. Does that help anything at all? I was rook A six to H six. Hold on, rook A six. That's pretty nifty. That opens up from that move that possibility actually as well. Oh, he's got bishop c6, I can take in queen d4. Alright, he's doubling there, but... um. Alright, so it's not so bad, though. If I, there's bishop e3 for queen g5. Bishop e3. I get queen g5 and bishop d4. Queen, queen f6 for queen f2. If his queen moves away from f2. Time's not bad. <clears throat> what do I want to do? Queen f6, queen g5, I think. Queen g5 here. So bishop d4. Alright, bishop d4 gives me queen d2. I'm on the rook. So queen d2 here looks quite good. Check. Did he mess this up? He's resigned. Wow. Your bird goes down. Blimey, I didn't expect that. Staying away from the king's engines is probably a good idea against this guy. I mean, his rating performance against my king's engine is gigantic, but uh, blimey. Didn't expect that. <clears throat> yeah, it's knight to f5 business. Check. Seemed very punishing for my, my play. I mean, it was only optimism about the dark squares at this point. A tiny optimism that he hasn't got the dark square bishop. But once they give him that pawn for the getting rid of the f5 knight. Black's already better now. G4. Look at this G4. Nope. About equal. Maybe, maybe black is better. This was actually an engine move, rook a6. Oh, <laughs> that, is, that is nifty though. Oh, I'm pleased to find that. Oh, this is, I think this is one of my better games actually against the old bird. Probably one of my best. Yeah, because his, his dark squares are chronically weak now with queen d2 now on the cards. Check. Okay, so if rook f2, I'll just take care. Maybe took care. 
Oh, just check. just double check. And if so, if you took with the queen, then I just take oh rook h two. Check. Uh, yeah, that would be pretty. Uh, check. Queen on f two. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> okay. Didn't expect that. The odd bird goes down. It happens every blue moon. Uh, is it a blue moon outside? <laughs> it's morning. Okay. Comments or questions on YouTube. Thanks very much.